Uh, last week, one and two. 14 wins, eight losses for the year. So uh, we slid below 67% with that uh, one and two last week. We uh, picked three winners, but two of them didn't cover the spread because they were kind of high lines last week. But uh, one and two, 14 and eight for the season. Already, believe it or not, week nine in the league where they play for pay. <laughs> Uh, pretty good, uh, week nine. We got to the action. Game number one. Up to uh, up to Buffalo we go. And uh, I like the Jets getting two points. I think that uh, this is a game that I think will be very important for the Jets season. If they make it, if they win it, they have a chance to get a decent run going here and uh, pretty much solidify a playoff spot. If they don't, they're going to be left in a mad scramble because they're going to be left at 4-4 four and four and the Bills are going to be left at 6-2 and two with a win over the Jets already in the bank. Uh, and remember, the Bills already have a win over the Pats too. So that would be an imperative game. Game. Um, I think this is one where the Jets are the more talented team. I don't think this is going to be an easy game, but I think if they do the things they can do right, especially with their special teams, especially with not turning over the football, which is critical against the Bills, who have had a lot of interceptions this year, or plus nine the turnovers, I think they can go about their business and win a close game. I don't think it's going to be one-sided. I think it's going to be competitive. You would expect it to be. But I think the Jets are the better team, and the Jets are getting points here. So, again, you're not getting a bundle, but you're getting two. Um, I think it's going to be like a 24-21 type of game. I think the Jets are the better team. I think it's a game they have to win. If they don't, it's going to be, like I said, a very, very tough chore to get into the postseason out of the AFC this year. And it'll make that Pat game the next week an absolute must-win. There'll be no ifs, ands, and buts about it. They cannot fall and lose these next two games. If they do, they're going nowhere this year. So uh, absolutely an enormous game, a, an, a key game on the schedule in every way. And I'm going with what I think is the better team getting points. Give me the Jets plus two, game number one. Game number two. I'll go to the Sunday night game, and I like the Steelers. I know that Woodley's out, but Harrison comes back. I like that. Plus, I just get the feeling here, really two things. One, you know there's great hatred here in this game. Number two, I don't see the Ravens beating the Steelers twice on the season. And number three, I think there's something inherently wrong inside the Ravens right now. There's something going on there inside that team that is not very positive. I know they came back and won that game last week, but they're playing an Arizona team that is absolutely brutal. So I just think that the Steelers at home trying to make up for that disaster in week one when they gave up, you know, seven turnovers. Since that time, they're 6-1. and one. Yeah, they've played a favorable schedule, but their game last week against New England was a good one. I think Roethlisberger has something to prove here. Uh, and the Steelers have a habit of forcing Flacco into key mistakes at big points. And I expect that to be the case again uh, this year. Plus, I think Roethlisberger wants a little, you know, Sunday night revenge after that opening season debacle. Give me the Steelers game number two. I hate when I have a couple of games for the third game and I can't decide because if I picked the wrong one, I'm ticked that I picked the wrong one. Uh, so I went back and forth on, on the third game after I put those two down. And I won't tell you which three I was left with uh, overall, but I'm going to go with the one that I uh, thought about, and that's the Chiefs minus four and a half against the Dolphins. I don't understand. To me, the line is way too low. The Chiefs have won four games in a row. Arrowhead's a very tough place to play. They have a lot of built-in momentum right now. And I don't think the Dolphins can continue to put forth a big effort and lose, a big effort and lose, and continue to get that kind of effort each week only to fall short. So last week, they gave an enormous effort against the Giants. They played really well. I don't think they're going to be able to duplicate that last uh, this week. Their quarterback has taken a terrible beating. I think the Chiefs will beat him with the special teams. I think the Chiefs will put pressure on him with their defensive line. Matt Moore has taken a terrible beating. And I don't think they'll have the success running the ball that they did last week. And I think there comes a point where a team just runs out of the ability to play close and lose every week. 
While the other team is highly motivated in the midst of a four-game winning streak, here's the team that continues to lose week after week. Two weeks ago, they blow a 15-0 lead. Last week in the fourth quarter, they blow a 17-13 lead, a game they led almost start to finish. That wears on a team. When you have to do that, turn around and travel the next week, I think it's very, very hard. Here you have one team has a lot to play for, has a lot of gas in the tank. Another team that that just has to wonder what are we doing here and why are we giving this effort only to fall short so I go with the Chiefs minus four and a half so three games Jets plus two Steelers minus three Chiefs minus four and a half the picks for a week nine we're right back <laughs> 